Let's write the Lewis structure for BO2 minus. So we have an ion here. First, we'll count the valence electrons. So boron, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. That has three valence electrons. Oxygen, group 16, six, but we have these two oxygen atoms. And this negative up here, that means we have an extra valence electron. So if we add this up, three plus 12 plus one, 16 total valence electrons for the BO2 minus Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center, that's the boron, and then we'll put an oxygen on either side. We have 16 valence electrons for the BO2 minus Lewis structure. We're going to put a pair of electrons between the atoms. That forms the chemical bond. We've used four of our 16. Let's complete the octets on the oxygens first. And at this point, we've used 16 valence electrons. Both oxygens, they have octets. The boron only has two fours, so only has four valence electrons. Often boron only needs six. So what we can do is if we move a pair of electrons here between this oxygen and this boron here, now the oxygen has eight, the boron has six, and this oxygen has eight. So this is a pretty good Lewis structure. But we can check the formal charges to make sure that this makes sense. When we do that, we see that this oxygen has a formal charge of zero. The boron, that also has a formal charge of zero. And this oxygen here has a formal charge of one minus. And that makes sense. This one minus was reflected here in the formula, especially because the minus one is on oxygen. It's more electronegative. We could try to do it this way and create two double bonds. But now what we find is that the boron in the center, this will have a formal charge of minus one, and then the two oxygens will be zero. So we'd rather have our formal charge, our negative formal charge on the more electronegative element. So this is not the best Lewis structure for BO2 minus. This is the best Lewis structure. We do need to put brackets around it since it is an ion, and then we'll put a negative sign outside the brackets. So that's our Lewis structure. You do need to remember that boron is happy with just six valence electrons, and you do want to check your formal charges. We want to make sure that we're as close to zero as possible, but still having that negative charge to match the charge on our ion here. And we want the more negative formal charge on the most electronegative element, in this case, the oxygen. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.